Hey everyone, good morning. This is Ayushi, and today I'll teach you the topic chemical kinetics. In chemical kinetics, I'll teach you effect of temperature on the state constant. Okay, so wait a second. Let me upload the file, and here it is. Okay. So as we all know, rate rate constant increases, rate of reaction also increases. But what happens? when temperature increases or temperature decreases okay this effect of temperature on rate constant also known as arrhenius equation uh, so let's get started temperature temperature has a very significant role on uh, rate of reaction okay when we increase the temperature by 10 degree celsius rate of reaction almost gets double okay uh, now this is eta Eta is the ratio of rate constant at T plus 10 degree Celsius upon rate constant at T degree Celsius. Okay, mainly uh, we have the value of eta in between 2 and 3. So, uh, when we plot a graph between fraction of molecules and kinetic energy, we get this type of curve. Uh, in this curve, this is the peak point which represents the maximum number of molecules and this maximum number of molecules is also known as most probable kinetic energy and this point this is a point let let us consider this is the threshold energy for the effective collision molecules must have the energy greater than the threshold energy if molecules have energy lower than the threshold energy that collision is not effective okay when simply when the energy of molecule is greater than the threshold energy threshold energy is threshold energy is this okay we we are considering this point as threshold energy when the energy of the molecule increases beyond the threshold energy only that collision only that collision is effective okay so now when we plot a graph at t degree celsius we get this plot okay we get this curve here a b c d is represents the number of molecules or fraction of molecules which have energy greater than the threshold energy that means these number of molecules only do effective collision okay and when we plot a graph at t plus 10 degree celsius we get a b e f number of molecules which have energy greater than the threshold energy or whose collisions are effective okay clearly you can see that uh, at t plus 10 degree celsius number of molecules are more than the t degree celsius now increase in rate of reaction with increase in temperature is mainly due to the increase in number of effective collision obviously i told you when uh, effective collision tabhi hoga jab threshold energy se uh, energy molecules ki zyada hogi okay so now we will derive the arrhenius equation this equation is known as arrhenius equation k is equal to a e minus a upon rt where uh, a represents a pre-exponential factor which is a constant or it is also known as frequency factor and k is the rate constant ea is the energy of activation when energy of activation increases rate of reaction decreases and when rate constant increases rate of reaction also increases okay now r r is the gas constant gas constant has its own value 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole where mt is the temperature now in this above equation we will take natural logarithm both the sides which means this equation turns out to be ln k is equal to ln a minus natural log se e cancel out to jayega to we can uh, we'll get minus a upon rt now at temperature t1 at temperature p1 ln k1 is equal to ln a minus e upon rt ln a will remain as it is because this is constant value and this doesn't change when we change the temperature and at temperature t2 ln k2 is equal to ln a minus e upon rt now we will subtract this uh, both the equations we will get ln k2 minus ln k1 which is equal to minus e upon rt2 minus uh, bracket minus e upon rt1 now uh, as we know uh, in log there is no 
subtraction and addition there is only multiplication and division subtraction means division so this turns out to be ln k2 upon k1 which is equal to a upon r 1 minus 1 upon t1 minus 1 upon t2 then we'll take the lcm and we uh, then we get this this equation ln k2 upon k1 is equal to a upon r bracket may t2 minus t1 upon t1 t, uh, t2 okay now we'll convert natural log to log base 10 which which turns out to be this value now when we plot a graph between log k and 1 by t okay we get a we get this type of plot which is a straight line where ln uh, we'll use the above equation for plotting this graph ln k is equal to ln a minus a upon rt log k is equal to log a minus t upon 2.303 rt as we all know straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c so here y is equal to log k m m is the slope which is minus a upon 2 plus uh, 2.303 1 upon t is x okay so here is the graph which we get when we plot log k and between 1 upon t so this is all about the arrhenius equation i hope you understood well okay thank you In maths, I will specifically teach you the chapter mensuration. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so we have the question Daniel is painting the walls and the ceiling of a cuboidal hole with length, breadth, and height of 15 meter, 10 meter, and 7 centimeter, respectively. From each can of paint 100 meters of area is painted how many cans of paint will she need to paint the room okay did you understand the question the question says ki we have a cuboidal hole just may have paint karna hai and paint obviously we know ki paint hum uh, floor pe to nahi kar sakte hai is liye uh, total surface area jo hume paint karna hai wo hoga ceiling ka area length into breadth plus तो दोनों हमारी फ्रंट और बैकवर्ड की वॉल प्लस हमारी साइडवेज की वॉल ओके सो वी हैव एल बी लेंथ इनटू ब्रेथ प्लस डबल ऑफ ब्रेथ इनटू हाइट प्लस हाइट इनटू लेंथ ओके सो आफ्टर पुटिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज वी गॉट टोटल सरफेस एरिया टू बी पेंटेड इज इक्वल टू 500 मीटर स्क्वायर देन एज वी नो ईच कैन ऑफ पेंट कैन बी कैन पेंट 100 मीटर स्क्वायर so total number of cans which we need so number of cans required to paint 100 meters square is equal to one can the number of cans required to paint one meter square is equal to one upon 100 and the number of cans required to paint 500 meters square is equal to when we divide it by 100 we get five cans so answer is the number of cans required to paint the whole is equal to five cans okay so this is all about the men of today's question and uh, okay thank you thank you so much